Hi, this is Dawn with Double D Homestead, and today we're going to can some bacon. So, let's get started. You need some parchment paper, wide mouth jars, lids, and rings, and some bacon. That's all you need. And we're going to start with parchment paper. If I can open it. bacon in it and the colder your bacon is the better when it gets hot it gets kind of slimy and hard to work with so the colder the better not frozen though frozen won't work now I've got uh, bakery smoked thick bacon and all I'm gonna do is lay it out in neat little strips. Just like this. And how I cook this when it's canned is I usually just put it out on a baking sheet and uh, put it in the oven on 350 for a few minutes until it's as done as I like it. And it's super easy and handy to have. And it's not $25 a can like it is at Yoder's. I got the bacon on sale for three pounds for $11. So it wasn't too terrible for considering, considering how ever expensive everything is. I just think it's a time now we need to put up as much food as we can while we can. Because the world's going crazy on us. Alrighty. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this up over the end of the bacon like so. Then I'm going to fold it in half again, like so. And then I'm going to roll it up as tight as I can. Like so. There, see? And then I'm just going to put it in my jar. Just like that. I'll run out of bacon. Then I'm going to can it. I have three pounds of canned bacon. Which is great. Because we all love bacon. Well, most people do. Not everybody. dog sitting here next to me drooling because he's mooching oh make sure your jars are clean and sanitized you can put them in the oven use your dishwasher's dryer cycle 
you can put them in a water water uh, bath to, to sterilize them. Just make sure they're clean. And this makes like a part cooked bacon. It doesn't completely cook it all the way. See that? Yeah. And uh, real, real nice if you want bacon. And you pop it in the oven for a few minutes and it's done. I'm a little shy. A couple slices here. So I'm going to grab a couple more pieces of bacon. I'll be right back. a jar kind of how I figured it would come out and I'll roll this one up pop it in the jar and I'm gonna get my hands washed and then I will be right back take a clean paper towel and put some white vinegar on it and wipe the rims of these jars in case there's grease on them or anything else. Just like that. Make sure it's nice and clean. my lids in hot water over here and then I'm just gonna pop a lid on put a ring on and pop it in the canner and these get canned at my altitude 10 pounds of pressure for 90 minutes in a pressure canner If you're not sure, call your county extension office. They can tell you where your altitude is and what you should be canning on meats in your area. So, all right, I'm gonna get my pressure canner and get it on and get these in there and I'll be back then. Alrighty, I got my canner full. I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of white vinegar in there so my jars don't get all cloudy. And then I'm gonna Pressure can this at 90 
90 pounds of pressure, 10 pounds of pressure for 90 minutes. i get that right eventually. So I'll be back when it's all done and show you what it looks like. Open away from your face. And let the pressure come down naturally. Don't rush it because that's part of the process of cooking it. So, here is one of our canned bacons. That's what it looks like. It's not real pretty, but it's real tasty. And it smells so good right now. And then, now I'm going to take out the stuffed cabbage. Uh, oh, it's popping, you hear it? The little pop, 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 pop. See, it's still bubbling. Can you see it? Can you see it? It's still bubbling. And what I'll do tomorrow when these are set, I'll take them and take the rings off and wash all the jars up good before I put them away. Because if you don't, they get fuzzy. And that's it. That's all there is to it. If I can do this, you can do this. So, enjoy your canned food and your food preps you got in your pantry. Take care and God bless y'all.